Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Blasted Oasis. So, last night I did a little bit of work. Uh, nothing up here. I just got everything sorted. Then I went down to the basement and started uh, digging a hole uh, to be able to, to get some mining done. And I did pop the health bar, figuring, yeah, good, we can get rid of our fatigue. It was down to an hour, and then I, I wasn't watching it as I was mining. My feet, fatigue went back up. But in the basement was that locked chest that I had opened. I had a bunch of stuff in that I hadn't taken yet, uh, and I just realized that uh, we had vitamins down there. So I'm going to go ahead and use those now. We'll get rid of that fatigue, which we definitely have to get rid of because that would be a huge problem not to be able to actually do anything. I did a little bit of sorting. I've kind of got like all the guns and the miscellaneous items in here uh, and ammo and stuff. Uh, just to keep things a little separate. Uh, iron can go back in there and this stuff can go in here. So we're going to go out and hit up a POI today. Now, I know I'm carrying a lot of shiz with me. I want to keep my coin on me in case we find some good stuff and we can go to the trader and um, pick up... Well, I don't know. I'm going to take this with... Well, let's leave it. I don't know why I should, whether I should go there and get the uh, mini bike chassis. If we have one wheel, I want to hold off and see what else we can get before day 10. So let's get out of the house first and foremost. Um, got everything back sort of organized the way I want it to be. Um, we also need to dig up this stuff around the house too. I think we want to do that. Try and get that done today. Uh, just so it's out of the way with. We have two ways in and out of the house now. So not so worried. And we should probably break this up too today. But we're going to do some looting first. Now I'm not going to hit up any of these buildings like this because there's nothing really in these guys. want to hit up some other stuff. We could go into Gashi Tower here. I know on the second floor there's that um, oh, there's the uh, magazine racks. Oh, you didn't get too far, did you? Yeah, I'm going to stop uh, harvesting these guys right now. Well, we could go into Town Hall. The, a lot of these POIs are a lot bigger too, right? Like, But I guess we don't have to raid the whole thing. Just kind of go as far as we can get. I'm trying to think what's got the best loot. Incremental loot, it's probably Higashi Station. Uh, Higashi Station. I was thinking Tashi Station. Um, Got to go there and pick up some power converters. Let's go in here today. Oh, what's up, buddy? Bring it on in for some love. So we had another skill point last night after the horde, and I went ahead and I dropped that into. Um, uh, oh, I'm gonna grab these. Went ahead and dropped it into uh, um, Pummel Pete. Thought I heard somebody outside. Uh, so that's at level 3 now, so we can craft a level 3 bat. Sorry, it's at level 2. We can craft a level 3 bat. So we're going to do that. I got the forged iron cooking out of the forge right now. So that should be ready by the time we get home. And if I remember to do it, I'll go ahead and do it. But you guys know my memory. Probably not going to happen. Uh, let's try and kill. Oh, here we go. kill as many of these guys as we can. Yeah, Cap Double Zero, man, he, he's having a rough playthrough in the Wasteland. He gets some... Oh, there's his head over here. He gets, a, he gets a moment of respite and gets some good stuff going on, and then all of a sudden it's just like hell all over again. Just watch the episode where he got attacked by a... Got up in the morning, left the POI he was in, and I guess the night before, a uh, horde of uh, wandering uh, zombie dogs had come by. And then it was a bear. Zombie bear out there. Oh. There's a zombie bear outside here, too. One or two. Oh, he's banging on the wall. Let's hope he doesn't find his way in here. Oh, we got a guy right here. There he is. I don't feel so bad now. I got the attack rifle. I got lots of ammo. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm a little overconfident. 
but I feel like in this POI we can maneuver around relatively easily to get away from them. Go up these stairs, like go in and out of here, make it tough for them, you know? Now back here I think, oh, that's the wrong POI, I thought there was a, uh, I thought there was a, a little cafeteria back there. All right. Yeah, you heard me. Ooh. Here's your present for hearing me. I'll turn you into a unicorn. Or maybe a triceratops, I don't know. It depends on how many arrows you can take in the head. Oh, great, wandering horde. Let's get this guy out of here first. What's up, guys? Now, if this was insane difficulty, I'd be worried, but not that worried. Honk. Come on down, I'm over here. Ooh. Whoa. What do you think you're... Skating around. Oh, great, it's Mo, the Hawaiian guy. Big Mama, what's up? What's up, girl? Having stamina issues here. Oh, yeah, you didn't go down. Got his arm up to block that hit. I find sometimes the zombies can get lucky and like rather than their head being in the open. You, you catch their hand as the hand comes up, and you miss the head completely. Yeah, burn. Ow! Okay, mom is down. Down for the count this time. Oop. Okay, you're down and out. Anybody back here? Nope. You're out. Burn you, bastard. See if you can get them caught up in the barbed wire. Interested to see how smart they are. Not that smart. Wow. Dramatic much? Jesus, Mo. Okay, I think there's somebody in here. Must be nice having a leather couch in the bathroom. That sounds like the bear. I think the bear's on the inside now. Oh, it's all empty in here. Okay. Hope the bear doesn't find his way around. That barbed wire will not have the same effect on the bear as it's gotten those guys. Take that. I don't know if we really need leather anymore. Well, I guess I should just take it and we get stacks of it and just sell it. Okay. Now. Gotta worry if that bear found his way in here. So Higashi Station is not the one with the uh, thing on the second floor. We got guys in here, don't we? No? Almost expecting them to drop in from above, but I guess not, eh? Alright. It's pretty quiet. It's not a good sign. Okay, I can scrap that. Not a big fan of the high stamina weapons. I always end up getting myself in trouble with them. All right, come on, give me some water, something good in here. Here's some water. Nice. That's a wrecked one. Now. Did that bear find his way in here? I don't see him. That don't mean he's not down there. Oh, I hear it. There. It's a dog. Right there. Get over here, you bastard. I saw you.
So the bear looks like he's still on the outside there. Let's go play fetch with his dog. Well, he doesn't play fetch very well. I was going to throw the stick and he decided to catch it just as I was throwing it. It's his fault. Took his head off. Not my problem. Alright, what do we got here? More water. Cha-ching! Swear to God, every time I do that, zombies should come. That would be the best thing ever. Take that. Yeah, we can sell that. What do we got in here? Electrical parts. Gonna have to start collecting those. What do we got? The cash register? Oh wait, you know what? The, yeah, the Higashi station is the one with this thing up, thing up on the roof. Now, how many lockpicks do we have? We've got one, so let's not use it on that. Let's go up here. Try not to produce too much light. We're already at 100% visible. 88 and 100% visibility. Let's not make it more than it has to be. You fucking guys, I told you. No sleeping on the job. This is an episode of, uh, what do you call it? Undercover Boss. Another guy in there? Nope. Okay, some more leather over there. Oh, there's two in here. Correction, there's one in here. What's up, buddy? Two arrows back, just two. Ooh, vending machine. Jailbreakers. Well, we found money in the cash register, so let's grab that. I'm gonna grab you and you. I know we've got a potential to get stuff behind us, but I'm gonna go ahead and use these anyway. Thanks for the arrow. I really don't, I don't know why I'm harvesting this stuff. You know, the other thing too is that those um, uh, leather, um, what are they called? Not the vests, the, uh, not the duster. Oh, there we go. Made our money back. See that? Awesomeness. A leather poncho, that's what I'm thinking of. We can make leather ponchos and sell those. 20, well, I don't know how much 20 leather would sell for by itself. Ah, grab that, I guess. Kofefe, what have we got in here? Something we can eat? Yep, beautiful. Go ahead and use this. It's nice to be able to just find enough food while you're out to, to sustain the raid on the whatever building you're in. That to me is like awesome because then you don't you're not using anything you know what I mean to do it. Grab that. Grab this. Yeah, so those running jacket the uh, what do you call the? Um, oh God. The football jackets. Letterman's jacket. Thank you. If you uh, make Letterman's jackets, they're worth like seventy. They're worth a good chunk. And they're really cheap to make too. They're just like, I don't know if it's duct tape, but it's like leather. No, not leather, cloth, I mean. It's like super, super cheap to make. We'll go up there. And you can, if you, and you can sell three of them, right? Every time you go to the trader, sell three, make 250. So if you've got nothing really to take with you and you've got the ability to make those, just make a bunch and take them with you. Especially if you got the resources, cloth is so easy to find. And in a normal playthrough, if you're playing in a green biome, got a guy behind here. He's gonna hear me. Stay down. Your buddy's asleep though. Undercover boss coming to see what you're doing. Got more guys sleeping there, but I think they're in the room below us though. Take that. I should really start keeping all the canned food too, because you can make better recipes with them. 
Okay, what do we got here? Take those. Okay. Grabbing this for the free clay. You can melt it down the forge. So what we'll do is we'll go down below. We're getting overloaded here, but we're close to the tradie. So, tradie, my God, Josh, stop it. Um, we're close to the trader, so we'll go and sell the stuff at the trader, take some stuff back home. We might come back here. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. There's so much materials here. Like all the plastic we can take and sell. They're all below me. Might as well grab all this too. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and use this. And we might as well just scrap that. That we can sell. We can scrap these. I don't need one paper. This is what? Hobo stew, which we don't really need. We can go ahead and sell that. Yeah, crap. They woke up. I knew I shouldn't have sprinted. I should have just walked. Ah. Oh. You know what it is? One of them woke up. He knew I was doing... Oh, maybe they all woke up. I was going to say he knew I was doing undercover boss today and he was coming to open the door for me. Come on, guys. Help me get this open. Only way you're getting a good review. I wonder if he'll burn out. All right, you burning out or what? Come on, you burn out. Nope. Not today, he's not. All right, let's see what we got in here. Couple purses. Modern art, I guess. All right, let's get in here. And I say that affectionately. I'm not a big mod. Oh, look at all the leather, man. Not a big modern art fan because I don't understand most of it. Um, my interpretation for like stuff like that is like very limited. It's funny because I've had like people say, "Hey, can you check out my experimental film? You're an editor." I'm like, yeah, sure, but I warn you, I'm not going to understand it. <laughs> I don't. I don't see things like everybody else sees it. Unfortunately, I can't. I cannot interpret those things. What makes me a good documentary editor? Okay, we got a wrench. Nice. Nice. Level 2 is block damage 39. This one's 36. Let's bring this down. I think we're just going to go ahead a cell 20. I don't know. We'll see. We'll hang on to it for now. Okay, we can go ahead and use this. Take that out. What do we got in here? Alright, go ahead and scrap these guys. Alright, and knock out all this leather, and then we'll probably go over to the trader. So, Cap Double Zero's playthrough, I'm not sure if you're watching it. He, the difference between his and mine is he's got the uh, Compo um, POI pack in it. And I find the Compo pack, for me, um, lags my game severely. Now, I haven't tried it in 1.9 yet, or ni Alpha 19. I tried it in Alpha 18. And it, it gets, everything got really, really laggy really fast. So I couldn't play for any more than an hour without having to restart the game. It's kind of a bit of a pain. So I stopped using it. Although I gotta say though, that some of those POIs are really good. Like the, the individual people that made those POIs did a great job with them. The, the concepts are really good too, you know. For the way the POIs were set up and all that. So kudos to them, but like I said, I just didn't I couldn't get it to work properly on mine. I think we're clear here. Looks like. Alright, let's clear this out. But the thing about having those POIs is that it's just different, right? You get so used to the POIs in this game. I know there's a lot of them, but if you've played the game for a while, you pretty much know them all. You know where the loot is. 
You know, one thing they could add is like random loot. Uh, so that goes up. Does it go down? It does, but I think it's blocked off at the bottom. Alright, let's go to the trader. Get rid of this stuff. Can I get across there? I can't. Gotta go around. Uh, we'll get rid of this stuff. Gone up there already. That's all done. We can't go in there. Or there. Those are the elevators, I think. That's all done. We didn't go in here. Let's go over this side. Oh, we got a guy right there, and I think that's glass. Pretty sure that's glass. They gotta make it, make the glass. Oop, is that another? There's lots of guys in here. They gotta make the glass a little more see-through, I think, or a little less see-through. I mean, they gotta just make it a little bit dirty, you know. And not just because it's it makes it easier, it's just that it's more realistic, you know? Because the glass would never be this clean, not after this long. Oh, Main Street! Oh, He's like not getting up after that one. He's like, nope. I had enough of that. Alright. Caught these guys sleeping in the lunchroom. Okay, six rounds and a black die. Nice. We'll figure out what that die is going in a second. Let's grab all the plastic. We can get it all. A little bit of gunpowder. Alright, well that's it for this floor. Let's go ahead and scrap these guys. Scrap, please. I clicked down on that how many times? Scrap. I'm going to figure out where we're putting that. Let's uh, have a look at our stuff here. Oh, you know what? There we go. Yeah, now we're looking completely badass. We just need to get uh, black dye for these two. The shirt we can't see anyway, so... Do we have anything on this? We don't have any dye on this one either, but you can't really tell. Because the only thing that uh, gets dyed is are the two sides here, which you can't see under this anyway. No biggie. We're absolutely badass. Alright, let's get out of here. Go to the trader. I gotta worry about that bear out here. I should harvest all the... How much leather do we have on us? 43, man. I might as well harvest this bit, because I'll just, I'll figure out how much it is to sell to the trader. And if it's not going to get us that much, maybe I'll make three um, ponchos. So that's what? 51. We need like nine more. Because a poncho is like 20, right? Four, five, six, perfect. Seven, eight, nine. That should give us 60. Beautiful. All right, let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that bear didn't decide to stay around. Ooh, the sun's out. What is up with that? That's nice. Biome is always so dreary, so when the sun's out, it's like... And now it's dead quiet, too. I'm expecting the worst, right? It's like, it's dead quiet, sun's out. Although we had a wandering horde today already, so it's probably not going to be another one. Maybe it's like a couple bears are going to show up or something. No, nothing. Alright, let's take this stuff inside. And then we'll go to the trader. Then maybe we rock... There's that house that we never finished over there. Maybe go over there next. Still got more than half the day left here. Okay, so what can we drop in here? A bunch of stuff. Anything else? Uh, you can go in there. I think we'll keep this plastic this time. Okay, and then in here. Those guys, that guy can go in there. We're going to... Might as well keep those two. That can go in there. Oops, I took my bacon and eggs out too. I want to at least keep some of these on me. Uh, okay, these guys are for sale. We need this to make a workbench. Just in case. Let's keep one. 
So the blunderbuss can get sold. You and you can get sold. I think that's it. The rest of the stuff we're selling? Yeah. Got our coins on us already. Okay. Let's do this. And we'll go over to that one house. That one house, you know? You know that house I'm talking about. So quiet. The cities, I gotta say, for the... Uh, for this biome. Yeah, you see bears in the city, but if you're roaming around outside the city, like you go out in the wilderness, there's bears everywhere. It's really bad. Like, really, really bad. Alright, what do we got in here? Health bar. Okay, we'll take that. Beautiful, we got our health bar back. Hey, don't come in here unzipped. Huh, oh, sorry. You're just so damn attractive. Couldn't help myself. Was hoping I could get a little, but it ain't happening today, I guess, so. Alrighty, uh, we want anything? Basic light bulb? We don't have any kind of electric, like, ability to put electrical lighting in yet, but and I think we could probably make those. No biggie. Tough guy sunglasses? I ain't that tough. I ain't that tough. How, what are these? Plus three or four? Plus three. Okay. No good. Night Stalker. 50% damage. Sneak damage to victims at night. We're not really going out. Level 1 AK. 38, 31. No, it's not going to be anywhere close to that guy. Dynamite. <laughs> Should take that and go after bears with it. I really want this, but it's going to slow us down a little bit. Mobility is minus 4%. The bellows might be nice. Okay. I guess you're not so bad after Actually, do you got any jobs? Anything close? They're all buried supplies, huh? Southwest. That's the closest. Okay, we We're not going to do it today, but we'll take it so we can do it tomorrow. I hear you out there, lady. I'm coming. Just relax. We'll get to you. We'll get to you. Where are you? Oh, snack. All right. Take it when you can get it. Don't get snacked that much. You know what? I didn't even take the leather with me. <laughs> I am such an idiot. Wow. Glass jaw. Okay. Did we finish this place off? I don't think we did. I thought I saw something jumping over here. Please tell me it was just a snack. And mine right there. I don't think we did finish this place, did we? Yeah, there's a snack over there. I know we checked this. Didn't check this. Ooh, glue. Take that. Plastic for sale. Let's grab this while we're here. Might as well. Okay, we got some trash up here. What do we got in there? Ooh, corn seed. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, loot this. Nothing. Nothing. Don't need any cloth. Okay, let's close this door in case we get any wanderers. Huh, figures out the room where he would be in. Close the wrong damn door. Oh, we got a guy right here. Yeah, so Alpha 20, they released some of the uh, info on what that's going to be like. Their progression is really good. Still working on texture. Oh, I know this POI. Still working on textures for zombies and things like that. They finally did the zombie nurse some justice and took her out of that kind of like slutty nerd nurse outfit. Which I'm sure some people are, you know, upset about. I don't really care. It's just a 
Oop, it's just a costume to me, but you know, if you're gonna do it, do it both ways. If you're gonna have the slutty nurse, you gotta have like the like the dude with like no clothes on or something. One around with his willy out. Do it both ways. I know this is primarily probably a male dominated game, but it doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, more die. I wonder if we should just start uh ooh, some ammo, that's nice. We don't have any nine mil weapons yet though. Uh let's just start scrapping this stuff. Actually, this guy modify and modify this, take the die out, and we can just scrap that. And we'll just start scrap. Oop, not drop. Scrapping. Scrap. Scrap. Beautiful. We'll probably drop the paper, but I'll do that later. Alright, that goes outside. Now we're going upstairs. I'm trying to remember this POI. Pretty sure I know what's going on up here. Pretty sure. Yep. Gotta not sleep on the job, buddy. Your whole one job is to murder people who are alive. Couldn't even do that right. Couldn't even do that right. Ooh, oil and duct tape. Let's close this for a second. This is locked, but let's just break into it. Okay, nobody in there. Can't see how popping pills is very hard work. Yeah. <laughs> Level up from loot in a toilet. Isn't that nice? Take this out of here. Dude, sleeping on the job gets you gets you wrecked in the head. These fucking zombies, I'm telling you. You can't trust them to do their job. I just had a flashback of uh, the movie Strange Brew with Bob and Doug McKenzie. Well, sorry, those are the characters. Rick Moranis and uh, Dave Thomas. It's the, uh, the the fake movie they made. Oh, sorry. not. I'm sorry, I'm thinking of the... Uh, yeah. <laughs> sorry, I'm mumbling now. I'm trying to do two things at once. Uh, Kate, we're going to read... Oh, not scrap it! Read it! My God! Focus on what you're doing, man. Uh, zooming costs fifty percent less stamina. Beautiful. Uh, let's go ahead and scrap this guy. Um, yeah. So Bob and Doug McKenzie, Strange Brew. Uh, if you're Canadian, you know what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, if you're not Canadian, I feel sorry for you. Um, <laughs> but anyway, the movie was like. It was great because, uh, yeah, they, they removed this costume and they put her in a proper nurse's outfit. It's great. Uh, so the movie is like, uh, it's a long story. I can't even explain it. Uh, but the uh, McKenzie brothers, Bob and Doug McKenzie, end up, uh, ooh, scrap this, take that. Um, they end up, uh, okay, we got to check our stuff out here. Yeah, we're not going to be using this guy, so let's modify it. Anyway, they end up going to this uh, insane asylum. Um, it's a long story. They get they get checked into this ins insane asylum. Anyway, they're goofing around in the place, and the one guy's got his brother um, hooked up to a uh, <laughs> to a um, electric shock machine. And he's like, if you didn't come in, if you hadn't come in for your 30-mile uh, checkup or whatever, we wouldn't have to jumpstart you like this. <laughs> Anyways, they were just goofing around. All right, we should have no problem down here, I think. If this was a later game stage, maybe, and a harder difficulty, maybe. 
Oh. Right here, lady. Well, you tried. And you failed. All right, let's see what we got in here. Yeah, anyway, he's got him hooked up. If you hadn't come in for your 30 mile checkup, or whatever it was, we wouldn't have to jumpstart you like this. Okay, BDU top, shirt. Good thing we're close to the trader. We can just hop over there and like, it's in here. Oh, looks like it's the loot. We can hop over there and sell all this shit. Ooh, a knife, finally. So let's go ahead. Take those. Um, this is what? Block damage of like four? Five? Power attack 23? Yeah. Take you off there. And, oh yeah, we can put the blade mod in here too. So let's bring this down. Go ahead and scrap this. Finally into some half decent tools for that. Alright, what do we got over here? Yeah, cooking pot, we can just go ahead and scrap it. And vitamins, that's really good. Replace the ones that we just used. Take that, scrap this. How are we doing on food and water? We're okay still. Uh, I'll take the lead. I'm, I know I'm going to be leaving some stuff behind, but we're going to just take everything for now and then we'll just decide what we're going to leave. Most likely it'll be the lead, but if we get a lot of duplicates in here, then, you know, we'll just take it with us. The paper's probably going to stay, too. What have we got in here? Ooh, level 5, we've already got it. Is this... is... going to be any better? It's the same. Alright, let's just scrap this. Got excited about that for a second. Okay, some more ammo, beautiful. Hey, we got a stack of 150 now. I feel pretty confident. All right, what do we got in here? Okay, we take that, take that. Level 5 blunderbuss. Beautiful. Level 6 bow, which is not as good as what we have, so we can go ahead and scrap that because we can't sell it anyway. We're going to keep those two here. You can come out, you can come out, and you can come out. Now let's go ahead and swap these two around. Uh, actually, let's go this route. And we should just load this guy. Now I'm probably going to end up getting rid of these very soon. But I want to hang on to them right now. Just as something that if we if we uh, don't need to waste ammo, we won't. Let's go through this side so it'll be a little faster. Beautiful. Now we check the kitchen and these cupboards. And we are done. All right, what do we got in here? Some iron. All right, we'll take the iron, that's fine. Empty glass jars, which you can't take, so we'll just leave them. You can always make them too, so. There's plenty of sand out here. Just break down the dirt in front of your house. Well, we can't even take the water, really? Let's just use it then. Not leaving it behind, you kidding me? That's it, eh? Cheap ass place, to hell. Oh, some more glue. Take that. Actually, you know what we can do? Do that. Then we can take the jars. Because why not? Nothing there. Two things in here. What do we got? Ooh, nerdy sunglasses. Um... How much is this worth? 13. Every little bit counts. Let's leave the four feathers. Take the nerdy sunglasses. And a splint. Which we can make. So let's just scrap this. Got plenty of duct tape now. If we didn't have any duct tape, then yeah, I would keep take the splint, but you got duct tape, there's no point. Alright, let's go. Back to the Tretitor. If I was playing by myself, I would knock all these boxes down, but not waste time. Alright, there's that guy over there. Check the trash though. Ooh, three gunpowder. What's up, Hugh? They should change this guy's name to Huggy. Alright, let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. 
get rid of that. You, 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 and you. Got lots of this at home now. We can sell that. Uh, you. And I think that's it. I think we want to keep the rest. I can't. I don't. We, we don't have these at home, so we're going to keep it for when we're doing uh, mining or upgrading the building or whatever. Should get some experience for that. Now, how are we doing here? Uh, we're not not that that over not that overloaded. I want to plant the corn tonight. We need to plant some potatoes too, so we gotta have to find some. Actually, do you have? I should have checked that, but you don't. Okay. I can't remember if the other trader had them or not. I don't think he did. Uh, we already checked the Night Stalker. Spear Hunter, I don't really care a crap about. The AK, I'm almost tempted to take the AK, but like as a secondary weapon and run with them both and get rid of the blunderbuss. That way we've only got one type of ammo on us and, uh, and a weapon and a backup weapon so we don't have to reload if we run into a bear. It's only 380 too, right? Let's do that. Let's do that. So we're going to have to go ahead and... Actually, do you have any... Um, do you have any pipes? Hit. <laughs> I got a pipe right here. Um, could take this too. That way we don't always have to cook up water. We can drink any water anywhere. Now, well, what kind of lousy customer are you anyway? Bite me. Glock's been looking for a uh, rad remover for a while. Uh, I got, for some reason I always tend to get them, like early game. And I can't really use them, so but you know, I end up getting them, and they just sit there. Okay, we'll do that. We're gonna sell these two and the ammo. Let's reload you. I want to find extended clip mods. That's what I want to find. All right, uh, you. Can you buy all my blunder buy ammo, and buy my two blunder buys. Oh, you don't want that one, huh? Cheap bastard. I'll sell it to you next time. Um. I think that's it. I think we're good. I think we need the rest of this stuff. So, I don't really want... Why do I feel like I'm missing something here? Like, is there anything we want? Like, 7, 6... Well, you know what? Bullet tips. Uh, and bullet casings. Because we keep buying this gunpowder. We can keep making ammo with the other trader if we had to. You know? The other thing is this mini bike chassis. Are we done here? Yeah. The mini bike would open up another, um, like other towns. We could just get on the bike and go. But I think I want to really maximize this town first. So let's go drop this stuff off at home. Get the attack rifle out. Is that a bird? No. Oh, there's a bear right by the house. Because of course there is. So let's go this way. Yeah, it's not like you can even lead a bear over a landmine and have, have a landmine take care of the bear. Like I said, there was a, you know, I was playing away and just to, to test it, to see if this was feasible kind of play style for me. And uh, I was, I can't remember if I was mining, I was doing something. And I kept hearing these explosions. I'm like, what the hell is that? And it was a bear walking through a military uh, POI on the outside. And it was like blowing up all the mines in the POI, walking along the outside and not dying. And I'm like, yeah, that's you can't lead a bear over a mine. Won't matter. All right, let's chop a few of these down, get some replanted here. Let's just hope the bear doesn't decide to come and investigate. Although, you know, Cap did have a uh, some some uh, good results with throwing a stone and having the bear chase after it. It's a viable uh, option now, right? So stones... Oh, fuck, where did the bear go? Okay, he's on the left there. He's right over there. One of our houses clear now. I really should just be working on the stuff in my yard. So we can get inside fast if I have to. So let's go do that.
fuck off, bear. They have not worked a... They haven't even got a... Oh, man, the zombies. You can always count them to knock shit down, but not knock the shit that you want them to knock down down. You know what I'm saying? I hate the fact that I can't see past this, too. Like, I want to add a wall around here, but I don't want to add it so that I can't see by it. Alright, let's see if we can dig up some of this stuff around the outside here right now. I mean, we could lead the bear over here, shoot him with an arrow, and then go inside the doorway and just see if we can melee him from in there. You know, that would be a good... Um, let's test that. Let's get the door open first, though. Hey, fucker, I gotta try something out. Get over here. Right in the ass. Come on. I'm over here. Wow. I guess I better be careful because I don't have my hammer on me. Oh, my stamina is kind of broke too. I need to eat. <laughs> you don't mind if I eat breakfast while I'm beating you to death, do you? Oh! He connected. Okay, he did 25. That isn't bad. He's bleeding. Somehow, I... I got a bleeding wound on him? How did I get a bleeding wound on him? Maybe he's stuck in a block or something. Oh, or he could be on fire and uh, I can't see it. I think that's what it is. I think he's on fire and I can't see it. He's gonna get another piece of me, I bet ya. Come on, I gotta go out there and harvest some materials. Stop messing around and fucking die already. Well, if we were wondering if this door is a setup that could work against bears, we know now. Don't see any tracks around here. Cause bears don't like, bears this size don't leave any tracks. All right, didn't get much out of that. A lot of rotten flesh. At least we're gonna have a good farm. Might as well take this apart. At least we'll have a good farm and we don't have to worry about that. Am I dropping shit? I'm dropping shit. What am I dropping? Ah, shit. I didn't think I was that full. I guess I was. Don't wanna be dropping shit. Is that it? Alright, forged iron, nice. Let's get these out of here. I think if we can get rid of these guys here. I won't have to, I won't feel so bad about them, you know, possibly making it up to the second floor this way. So there's no ladders on that, that's good. Sometimes these scaffolding things have ladders that go up. So this will be nice to get rid of this. And then what I want to do, all this sand behind me, I'm going to claim all that sand. It goes down, even down to this level here. So all this sand, is like there's like three levels of sand here. So I'm going to dig all of this up, since we don't have a, um, a desert to easily grab sand. I don't, I hate... I know you can uh, get sand by putting it in a mixer, putting stone in a mixer, but I hate doing that because I just feel like it's so much easier to grab it this way. It's two hits and you get like, I don't know, what, 11 or something? But then once you get, um, 
uh, what's it called? Not minor 69 or the other one. Mother load cranked up. You get more, so you get a little more anyway. So it's just better to do it this way, I find. All right, there's nightfall. Let's go inside. All right, so I'm going to end this episode here. I think that was pretty good day overall. Let's close this in. I think we're pretty safe here. If they do break in and try to come up the stairs, we've got a secondary line of defense. So I don't feel too bad about leaving these stairs. And normally I put a ladder up with a hatch or something, but I don't think we need to do that right now. Now, how much leather do we have? 230. Yeah, we can start... Uh, we can start going ahead, going ahead and uh, making some stuff to sell to the trader, I think. All right, uh, drop all this stuff in here. Okay, so I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you got any suggestions, please drop them in the comment section down below. But I think next episode, once again, we've got to go out doing some more looting. <coughs> Excuse me. We found some good stuff today. Uh, we've got the AK as a backup weapon. We got rid of all those blunderbuss. I'm going to make a next uh, level 3 uh, baseball bat tonight. Figure out where I'm going to be putting all my other points. We can sell this. Uh, in a few days, nerdy glasses will keep. Um, but yeah, we'll figure that out, and then um, next episode we'll do some more looting. Uh, see what we can find. Maybe we hit up that second trader too. Uh, go down there. I gotta think about what it is we saw there. I don't remember what it is he had uh, he had down there again, because uh, I was in a hurry and I want to just make sure that we didn't miss anything. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that tomorrow as well. Uh, I don't know why I always have so many of these on me. I guess I find them all the time. But yeah, we'll go and do that. And then... Um, oops, that does not go there. And then we'll see where we're going from there. Maybe we uh, hit up those POIs that are down there. There's that military POI and stuff. Maybe we we'll go through that one. And we may go do that tomorrow too. That's pretty close. 194. Maybe we do that first. And maybe we see if the other traders got any any other kind of missions that we can take. All right, so I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.